Good evening, everyone. So, I was about to take my evening walk, and but I decided because I've been. Let's see if I can put this down. I got to be careful with these things. I usually、uh, like in the evenings. I like to sit out on the porch and just observe the nature around me. But and it's a it's a fairly cool night. It's seventy degrees here in Lynchburg. But I decided to make this video to do a video because a lot of people have been asking me about the art of problem solving. And yes, I am familiar with the the art of problem solving. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion, my honest review on it, what I think about the art of problem solving as a pure mathematician, and then let you make the decisions that you need to make. So I became familiar with the art of problem solving several years ago, around 2017, actually. And I had just returned from my very long hiatus in Europe. I had just returned to the United States because back in 2017, I I had the vision that I have now. It was a budding vision of starting、uh, city tutoring. So I was very much、uh, I was curious about what the educational situation looked like in the United States in terms of. Textbooks and、uh, mathematical textbooks. I knew that it was a disaster because it was a disaster even back in the nineties. In fact, even as late as the nineteen eighties, it was already a disaster. Though not as bad,、uh, we still didn't have DEI and all that nonsense. But、uh, it was. I mean, the nineties had affirmative action, though. And those of you who are old enough to remember, you remember that circus. But I became familiar with the art of problem solving just by doing、um, some research back then. And、uh, I I don't have the physical books here、uh, because I had them in storage for a long time, and、uh, that was up in New York. And、uh, now it not, you know it's it's in another location,、uh, but I'm still so I I haven't had them shipped here yet. But I can tell you upon first laying eyes upon the tomes. I was first of all I was disappointed in the beginning when I first saw them because they were bound. With the modern vulgarity of laminates, so immediately upon seeing that, I know people often say, "Do not judge a book by its cover," but that's not always true. Sometimes the cover does say a lot about a book. But anyway, I prepared myself for disappointment, and normally I'm disappointed any time anyone, any serious person,、uh, any person who is serious about mathematics, will always be disappointed when you are presented. With any mathematical treatise that is post oh nineteen fifties nineteen sixties, so you can imagine my astonishment when I found the contents within to be I if I will not say necessarily excellent, but they were nothing short of very very good. And these volumes, it must be said, they do not pander in the typical sense. You can tell they have no interest in making the DEI crowd feel good. There's no feeble cooing of the bath is fun variety, no cartoonish anthropomorphism of numerals wearing spectacles and smiling with improbable enthusiasm. You know, we used to call back in the day overly enthusiastic people who smiled too much. We used to call them mentally retarded. But that, oh, but that's not allowed these days. I know that. So instead, the the reader were sort of promptly flung into the arena, expected to wrestle with the AOPS problems as if he were Leonidas and the problems were the Persians. But the pedagogy, if I may use so modern a term, is Socratic. So I do like that. The authors, I can tell. Are for the most part, as far as I'm aware, they are pure mathematician men. So they offer just enough guidance to not make you lose your hope, but not excessively so. So to give you some background, the art of problem solving has several textbooks. They have Introduction to Algebra. They have Intermediate Algebra, which is really Algebra Two. They do have Precalculus, and they do have a Calculus textbook. They also have a number theory、uh, book 
and they also have a uh, probability. They don't do statistics as far as I'm aware. And I think their reasoning was the same that I would use, which is basically statistics is not real math. But the tone of all the books that I, I've now I've gone through all the books. I've actually used them in some of my classes uh, when it was appropriate to use them. Uh, it's really it's pleasingly dry, like a good sherry with the occasional appropriate humor or quote thrown in for good measure at the beginning of the lessons. Now, I warn you, the art of problem solving is not for the faint hearted. It's not supposed to be. Uh, it's also not, I, I would say it's either uh, not for the soft minded either. Uh, in fact, you will read a lot of accounts online of people struggling, uh, even people who call themselves so-called, I don't use the term, but a lot of people say, oh, I'm mathematically gifted, but I was, you know, they, they were in for a rude awakening with AOPS. It is really for those rare souls who delight in the struggle. It's, the, it's for the kind of student who, when you are confronted with a monster of a problem, you, you don't flee, but you reach for your quill and say, aha, at last, a worthy foe. If you're that kind of person, if you like to be challenged, if you like to be right, then I would say that it's a, it's a fairly good option. Now, the, while the art of problem solving is undoubtedly, I would say it's a splendid gladiatorial training ground for the budding problem smasher, it is not. And let me say this with the gravity it deserves. It is not, I repeat, a text in the true tradition of mathematical rigor. It does not construct the integers from axioms. So that was disappointing. Nor does it give the real numbers their due birth. You know, it doesn't discuss dedicated cuts or coachy sequences. Uh, well, it does actually uh, in the calculus book, if I recall correctly but not in great detail, not, not from the beginning. So it, it really leaps headlong into problems without so much as a formal declaration of the premises. There are no axioms. Uh, you don't see really definitions stacked like bricks in some, in some of the more rigorous textbooks, um, you know, wh wh where they each lay with due ceremony and uh, mortared with logic. So there's no indication that the authors ever feared the wrath of David Hilbert's ghost uh, descending upon their pages, you know, shaking his spectral head and muttering, man muss wiesen, man wird wiesen. Excuse my German, by the way. If you're German, I apologize for my awful pronunciation. One of my objectives was to actually uh, take German instead of French for four years. But alas, I ended up taking French. I ended up being lazy with uh languages but uh and i and i was also taking latin so that sort of you know made me think well i don't really i'm not going to really need german and plus i've been to germany many times and uh most people in germany at, at least where i was most people spoke english anyway but anyway i, di I digress so the art of problem solving aops is really what we consider the we could consider it the conversationalist of the mathematical world. We could say it's uh, it's definitely a brilliant series. Uh, it's charming and it's uh, clever at parties. But don't expect it to write you a formal proof of Zorn's lemma. It trains the student, I think, to do, not to found. It is really to pure mathematics what the fencing master is to the philosopher. It's dazzling in motion, but it's less concerned with epistemology. So, as I said earlier, it is not a rigorous text, but it is a vigorous one. It really is a magnificent feast for the mathematical swashbuckler. But I wouldn't consider it a cathedral of axiomatic deduction. It does not bow before the altar of axioms. And I don't like that. If you desire rigor, true rigor, the kind that begins with let there be a set or some kind of definition and ends in existential exhaustion, you have to flee to Dolciani in the beginning, uh, then Spivak or Spivak, some people pronounce it as, 
uh, Rudin, Baby Rudin, uh, and other similar authors. But if you if you want to think about solving problems specifically, AOPS, I mean, Art of Problem Solving, it, it will do the job quite handsomely, I will add. Uh, should you buy the books? Should you buy the... That all depends on what your objectives are. Uh, the, the Art of Problem Solving includes all the solutions. And sometimes one of the interesting things it does, it, it includes sometimes two or three solutions to the problem. Uh, so and and the problems are very elegant. I have to say, I, I like the, the problems are quite elegant. Uh, they do a good job at that. But it really depends on what your objectives are. If you just want to be good at math Olympics and sort of math competitions, then yes, AOPS is definitely the go to. But if you are sort of a more abstract person, if you if you want definition, I mean, AOPS does give you for sure definitions. It does have uh, in, in, it also includes some proofs. I'm not saying it doesn't include any proof, but if you're looking for something like, uh, you know, Dolciani, uh, it, it's not going to do the job for that. It's not for that. But I would use it as a supplement. You can certainly learn. You you can certainly go through the entire series and be above and beyond and be even more prepared than your AP calculus courses uh, or, or your AP. Now they have AP pre-calc in, in some schools. Uh, so it goes far and, and beyond that. So in that sense, it, it, it's, it's a solid purge. I mean, I have no real critique of it except to say that it is not rigorous in the sense that I define rigor, which is axiomatic truths. But I would certainly use it. I've used it as a supplement. And I think a, another good thing about it is it, it, it doesn't waste time with stupid graphics. It will give you it will give you a, a, an image when it is relevant to do so. They have geometry as well. I, I forgot to mention they have a geometry book as well. Quite good. Um, now every chapter has a review section, and then it has exercises as well, and it also has uh, a challenge problems. What they call challenge problems. Uh, they're they're all good. So you have you can you can order the physical series, which is what I did. Uh, or you can get an online version, uh, which is the same thing. And you can also order all the solutions, everything as, as a package. Uh, but it would not be my first option. It would not be my go-to. Uh, it's more for students who like to treat math sort of as a game. I call it the gamification of math. Um, and that's, uh, that's not always a good thing. But if you like problem solving, if you like really elegant, interesting problems, then yes, uh, by all means, purchase it as a supplement. Uh, if you're looking for axioms, set theory, uh, and all that, in fact, they don't actually cover set theory until, um, when do they cover set theory? Until their calculus book, which is when they start discussing sets. So that is my message to you. I hope that this answers the question that you had. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section if I left anything out, and I will be more than happy to answer the question if I, if I see your question, if I get around to it. But it's time for my evening walk. Uh, thank you all. It's been a blessing to have you as always. And uh, like I said, I will continue to upload videos.